Hello everyone, welcome back to Shaky Pocket, and in today's video, we're going to be cleaning out this Sound Blaster Oddigy 2. Uh, it's not an Oddigy V2, but that's what I keep accidentally saying. Anyways, in the previous video, we were trying to attempt to fix up a Dell XPS Generation 3. We failed, but I managed to take out a few components that I believe are still in working condition. So, one of those parts was this sound card. What I want to do in this video is clean that sound card up, and then hopefully in the next video, we're going to be able to stick it in my computer and see if there's actually any sound quality difference. So, let's jump right into this intro, watch a 10 second ad, so don't worry too much about that, and then let's clean this up. G2A is the cheapest online video game shop. Make sure you buy your next game by clicking the link in the video description. Okay, so here we have the sound card right here. The first thing we should do is go ahead and check that all the capacitors are okay and none of them are blown. I actually never seen a blown capacitor, but in case you want to see what that is, here's a picture on screen from Google Images on uh, some website. I'll, I'll post it right here, some, some link to some website, but anyways. Uh, uh, carry on. I'm not going to go into any of the specs of this thing. We're just going to clean this out. So we got some water here. That's all we're going to do. Clean this out. If you look closely, I'm not sure if you can see it, but this thing is pretty dusty. The shadow from my boom arm right here is not helping, but uh, anyways. You can see the bubbles coming out there, so that's uh, probably like it's going in there or something. There's also a whole ton of spider webs in this thing. And, um, yeah, so we're gonna just clean this out, dry it off, and then in the next video we're going to test out this thing and see if we can hopefully get this thing to work, because I don't even know if this thing works still. I'm pretty sure it does, because I don't think sound cards die that quickly anyways. So, yeah. Don't need to worry about any warranty void if removed stickers, because... This thing's from like 2004 or something, so most likely they're out of date anyways. Okay, let's check that. Yeah, that's, that's clean enough, so now let's go ahead and dry it out. Okay, so I'm just simply going to use a napkin to dry off all the extra water that's on here, like right here. Just be careful not to get the paper ripped by the, uh, um, what are those called? Solder points, because the solder points are very sharp. So I, I recommend you just go like this, like da dab it, I think it's what it's called. You just go like that. You can rub the golden connectors, but just dab it all over the place and make sure the napkin is absorbing all the water. You, you, you should go in between the capacitors, but you gotta be careful that you don't bend them by accident. Dry off that, uh, processor. Okay, now we've dried off all the excess water. The last thing to do is to just let it sit for a few hours in front of, like, a fan or something to dry it off completely, and then we'll be able to stick this back to the computer. As you can see, it's all totally clean now. I'll hopefully get some b-roll on the screen so you can see it's actually clean, and I'll show before and after. And yeah, so that's pretty much the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down so I know I should not make this anymore. Subscribe for the video showing if this is any better than your onboard sound, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.